we're going to build a custom root class. OK? Are you OK? This is a new feature of Cake 1.3. It's called custom routing. Custom, custom routing classes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the idea here is we need to maintain our views and our rewrite X and stuff, but we want to change the way our URLs look. And our main object uh, objective will be I need to show at least the date of the event on the URL. Okay? So I will not change my, my views. I will just keep calling action view ID, and it will convert these params to events, a date, and maybe the, the article ID. Okay, cool. First of all, we need to have a lips, lip, lip, it's lip or lips in, in the folder. It's called, sorry, it's not, it's lip. Sorry, how do you pronounce that? Lib. Lib, okay. So we need a lib folder. I'm going to copy it from the cake distribution. Cake PHP app libs or lib. <laughs> now we have this folder. Back from it, it's empty. I just wanted to copy the the name. I, w I wasn't sure if it's with an S or without it. And we need to create either a file or a folder. I prefer doing a folder here. Let's create a folder. Name it roots. And now a new file called event root dot php. Uh, inside your, beside your controllers, models, and views folders. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, create a file. And, okay. We open the PHP tag here. I'm going to remove this one. Say class event root extends the cake root. Cake roots has these these functions, but you you need to override the override at least these two to make your roads change. The first one is parse. Parse is a, the, the method, the function that gets called when you type the URL in, the dispatcher calls router, router calls parse, and if the parse matches what you want, that route is selected. The other method is match. Match is all the way around. Instead of calling from the from the URL, you are passing it in a array, for example, from a from a view with the HTML helper, and it gets called through match. If it match, if it matches any root, it converts it to a string. So we have the the process and the reverse process of doing roots. Okay. Now open your config roots file. And after this first one, we can copy it. 
we can add two lines. The first one would be importing our custom root class. Roots. I'm going to import the class into the roots file. Okay, let's change this here, this connect. We will connect this URL. We need a URL like events, and it should have a year, and a month, and a, sorry, a day. and probably the ID for this event. How would it be matched? Well, the controller needs to be events. The action should be view. And I'm going to pass as first parameter this token here. OK. As last parameter here, we write this class event root. It will use the event root class to parse and match the URL. Does that bypass the standard Sorry? It no longer uses the standard root It will, yeah. It, it will match all roots. If it match once, it stick with it. If this is the first one matched, it will use it. If not, it will still go on until it matches the, the controller action ID. Um, sorry, need to see something here. <coughs> okay. It's not called class, it's root class. OK. Also, we could help a little the ruler to distinguish between what's controller and what's an action and what's a year and a month and a day or a whatever other parameter you pass to the URL. So I will help, help it by saying that year should be matched this way. It is a string that goes from 0 to 9, and it should have four characters exactly. You know regular expressions? Yeah. And here I will help this for using month. It's a zero nine digit of length two, two, and the day goes the same way. Mm. 
right? Okay. No, well, we could use a UID regex, but it's not important. No. It's just a help for, for the router. Okay, <coughs> let's implement our root. Excuse me again. Well, while I seek my my script, you can start writing here public function parse it gets the URL. And public function match. It also gets it gets params. Let's call it URL too. Okay. Let's go first through the parse implementation. Uh, okay, let's see. This is it. Parse. So we need to first call parent to get all parameters into an array. Just like a guide, we need to tell to, to match using the, the, the parent method, if the controller that I'm going to handle, for example, events controller, is the view matched correctly, is the year and the month and the, and the date there. If not, this is not my root, it's something else. So let's get these params. And, well, we need to check if those params, like year, month, and day, are actually there. So I will write this for each to check each of them, each one of them. For year, month, and day, as param. If it's empty, params, param, I'm dealing with any other thing that is not my concern right now. This is not my root. But if it is, I need to find somehow if the year, month, and day that have been passed matches any article in the database with the ID I have. Okay? So as I have an ID, I will instantiate the model using class registry. And finding Why not find coming? We just need to pass an array of conditions like this. Same conditions.
Sorry? Okay. And I will pass to here an array of month, the year, its parents, year. month and day okay I'm passing to that find coming event with these conditions it needs to be the ID I have been passed with this year, this month, and this day. No other event. So if the, something tries to hack the URL to make fun, it will not match this route because we have set the correct conditions to not return any, an article if something is wrong in the URL, okay? So if it's empty, this event, we return false. It's something else. It's not our root. If no event, yeah. Okay. Finally, I will grab the for each here again. And instead of checking empty, I will ups on set, not upset, on set, params, param. I will actually put here id2. Okay, and after this, I just return params. I'm going to comment this function for a little moment. So I, I won't break anything during my testing. Okay, let's see if it works. We have this event here. Let me close this. We have this event here with this ID, and it should say the root 10,010.0903. Let's go to events, 2010.0903, and my ID. OK, the root is not matched yet. Let's debug why. First, let's put a debug here to see if it's roots matching. It is. We have year, month, day, ID. So somehow our common event is not being matched somehow. Let's just debug here event or bear. No, debug event. It's empty. Yeah. yeah, params ID. Thank you. Let's see if it works now. It works, apparently. Let's see. Oh, let's not skip this, sorry. Maybe it's What's my problem? Oh, it was 2010. Here. Okay, no, no problem. We have made it so far, made it so far this way. 
It's returning params. And it says invalid event at least. And I know why. Article, um, events, controller. Did you remember that we set this condition for us? Like I'm, I'm only allowed to view my own events. I think this is the, the main problem. Let's just look if I got, I get the current, the correct ID here, and do a die. No, die. Again, ten thousand. Oops. Okay, got it. Debug ID. Okay, the ID is not being passed. We need to pass it. And I think that is done. Yeah. It missed something. Instead of removing from params, we need to pass params. Remember the pass thing? The param pass? Have you heard of it? Params pass. Pass are the parameters that get as the the parameters of the function on the controller. You can have, for example, view takes a, one parameter. It's called ID. I need to tell somehow the ruler, well, the ID that is expecting the, the view action will be this one. And I need to tell it this way. It's just very simple. It's pass as the first one, params ID. Okay, as the first parameter of the action function, 